you can see here, I already pre-cut the fabrics. Also use the bodice that I drafted a few years ago. I modified the neckline from round shape to square. I also cut out an all-in-one neck and shoulder facing, so one for the front and one for the back. After I sewn the darts, it should look something like this. I'm also going to press it so the darts will lay flat. Now I'm going to sew the shoulder seams first. I'll do the same thing on the facing. I will sew it on the shoulders. Remember that the right sides of the fabrics are facing each other. It should look something like this. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put it on the bodice so I'm just going to open it up just like this and right sides of the fabric are facing each other and remember that the facing for the back bodice and facing for the front bodice should match as well I will also open up the seams just like this Once I reach the corners here, I am going to lift up the presser foot and then turn the fabric and continue on sewing. And I'm going to do the same thing on all corners of the neckline. I'm going to clip all four corners of the neckline just like this. And I'm also going to trim off the excess fabrics. I'm going to understitch the facing. The reason for that is it prevents the facing from sticking up. And be sure that the seam allowance is facing the neck facing. And it should look something like this as you can see the neckline is flat and it's also finished now it's time to finish the armhole facing first I am going to roll it into a burrito or a log so I can reach the other side I am going to grab the facing just like this so the burrito or the log is in between the bodice and the facing I'm going to match the shoulder seams and I'm going to pin it to secure and I'm also going to match the facing and the armhole just like this. Now I am going to sew this curve right here. going to trim the excess fabric and I'm also going to clip it especially on the curve just to release the tension around the curve I will carefully pull the burrito or the log out of the tube that we sew right here See here the armhole is finished already. Now it's time to close the seams. I'm just going to open up the facing like this and I'm going to do a straight stitch from here down to the hemline. Here I already have a tutorial on how to install a side zipper. So if you want to learn that, I'm going to have it linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload every Monday and Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. I will see you in my next video. Bye!